Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, happy Monday. It is March 15th. It is 4.06 p.m. The market's just closed. And I'm going to talk about the trades that I opened today. I, did, I opened two, but I didn't close any. Okay. Um, great. So let's see. Let's see. Um, one second. Got it. Okay. So first... I went in AMD, um, and this was not a great setup. Um, you know, hindsight is 2020, and I see here that maybe I was forcing this trade a little bit, but anyway. Okay, so I went in at 10.15 with 50 seconds. So this candle closed, and I went in about, you know, a third of the way after this candle opened more or less right okay. now what i was what i was looking for was breakout of the okay so this is a, the pre-market high broke it set a day high so breakout of the day high high of the day retest continuation and i was looking at this candle okay now um i don't like to go before the, the end of the candle um, I like to wait to see what is it that the what that the you know chart is giving me and this was okay but at the end of the candle it retraced so now we had an area a wall of sellers a wall of sellers really an area where people were selling and I still went in so looking at it, I don't like what, I mean, in retrospect, I don't like what the price action was doing, but it is what it is. Um, now, I did one thing very, very well. I am on a huge winning spree. I think um, my last 11 trades of this pattern have been wins, okay? Um, so that can lead to overconfidence and in order to avoid that um sorry in order to avoid that and to avoid um going for something that could be too volatile i went three weeks out which is an actual extra week of you know um when i want to be safe when i want to be safe i give myself two weeks so this time i gave myself an extra week okay um so this moved but it didn't really like the percentage you know this moved against me but percentage wise it didn't really hit me bad at all right so what happened it dropped hit um vwap and mind you if this had been a day trade or i had had this week's calls i would have needed to cut this for a loss but I didn't because, you know, I have a strong conviction that this is going to go up, right? Okay, so fell, retested the same area, and it never visited this area again the entire day, right? It just went, you know, fell and then went sideways for the rest of the day. Again, when you look at this on the, on the daily, um you don't see this is just you know like an area of resistance right but there's also something that um i noticed when i before i took the trade but i, I still decided to go for it um okay the 20 day simple moving average is not overly strong but it is there like people use it right and we are right there so I uh, it is to, ex to be expected that this is gonna have some trouble pushing through um, but again with the markets being the way they are I do believe this is going to be you know moving up upwards maybe to 85 maybe to 90 and uh, I do have like three weeks to let this play out so not in any rush and um, I'm quite happy with how I how I 
I planned this trade. So that's my AMD trade. Now my next trade of the day was Tilray, T-L-R-Y. And I love my entry. I went in here. Again, what's what's the pattern here? We had the breakout, the pre-market high, high of the day, breakout of high of the day, retest, continuation. And I actually went in, you know, at around this level where the horizontal white line is. Um, I started to see volume coming in. I went in and I was just carried up. It was it was lovely. It was really nice to see that. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't go anywhere. It just went sideways from that point onwards. But again, I am giving myself three weeks here, three weeks um, to let this pop higher. To what level? Well, let me just delete all of that so it's easier to see. Oh no, actually, I don't want to delete the, the arrow. Um, This is popping up. Um, we have a resistance here, and we already broke it, right? Yeah, we already broke res this resistance. So the next one could easily be in the 35s, you know, mid 35s. Um, I don't see why this cannot go up there tomorrow. I really don't. Um, let's see. There you go. Honestly, Tilray moves, it really does, and um, I like trading options of Tilray because, you know, when you catch it right, it really goes your way, right? Had this been, uh, you know, this week's calls, this would have been a very nice gain, but I was trying to be safe. Okay, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't see why this cannot gap up tomorrow or just continue trending up. Now, let's talk about this pie. You know what happened today? Do you guys know what happened today? We broke all-time highs again. Uh, let me just get rid of the pre-market. There you go. So, we opened below this, above the support. We broke it. Oh my god, like the, the world is ending. Nope, the buyers came in and they pushed this up to all-time highs. I do think that... Um, that we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going higher right mm -hmm. you see the first swing second swing I do think that tomorrow and this is just a hunch but I think that tomorrow we're gonna go higher more volume than the day before all-time highs yeah it, it looks good to me the cues also very good um so we had a swing, another swing, and I would like to see this break this resistance yesterday, mainly because um the you know trades that I have trade in the in the Nasdaq. So um I do want to see this pop up, but I think that because of this pie, it will. It really will, I think. And finally the Dow, yeah, the Dow is indestructible. The Dow just keeps going. So you know. Just buy something in the Dow and just let it ride, really. Or don't, don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, it, it, almost, it almost feels like that is kind of a set it and forget it thing to do. Anyway, um, I'm keeping an eye on AMD on a different monitor, and I do like what's happening after hours. Um... Yeah, see, um, we couldn't break this level earlier on. Once we lost this level, we couldn't really break it. Well, now we are above it. Um, who knows what's going to happen overnight? Nobody does. But I mean, it's a good sign, right? Um, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Oh, actually, no. Before, um, before I call it a day, I do want to say that... Um, Part of the reason why I wanted to be safe and I gave myself um, three weeks, besides, you know, trying to avoid too much volatility, is that I saw, I was, you know, like watching some like, 
seminar on YouTube and uh, about the psychology of trading and you know just to like you know, just to kill the time really and most of the things that were said I already knew but there was one thing that you know it's nothing like it's not a, a secret that you know only a few privileged traders know but I really liked how he said it he said that um, we tend to be hopeful when we should be fearful and we tend to be fearful when we should be hopeful now what this means is that if you're down on the day you know like you're down a thousand bucks for the day or your hope your trade is open you have a floating loss of a hundred of a thousand dollars we tend to think wouldn't it be nice if the price just turned turned around and you know uh, that loss went to break even right um whereas if we are up a thousand dollars and you know floating gain we tend to just want to take it take it you know take the money and run right um in both cases we are trying to avoid pain and this i knew you know but while i don't really know if i agree with him fully on the floating gain you know example I mean, he was even like, he was speaking against scaling out and everything. And quite frankly, I do think that you should take your profits when they are there rather than let them, you know, evaporate in order to look for a few home runs, right? Um, however, I do agree full heartedly with him on the, on the, um, you know, floating loss example because I mean it is somebody who is down a thousand dollars for the day is a, a lot more likely to keep trading that, than someone who is up a thousand dollars for the day however the results are speaking volumes you know if you are down you're not reading the market well or your system is not working well so just get out get out and don't trade anymore just be fearful to trade don't you know don't push it because it's clearly not working. However, um, we are human. We are victims to our own emotions, and we want to get back, right? We want. We don't want to carry that pain with us overnight. You know, the pain of a loss. So we keep trading, and often, you know, like we just dig ourselves deeper into a hole. Um, yeah, no. So I, yeah. Long story short, I do like how he said that we are hopeful when, we, when we should be fearful and i want to try to implement that into my own trading um i do tend to trust my system very very much and i do i i, I have a great system i love it it is very strong but not every trade is going to work out right and um yeah i i find that historically i have taken some bigger losses because i was convinced that this thing was going to come back up you know a loss that i had i was hopeful that you know if this thing happens then the loss is gonna go up instead i should have taken the loss much much sooner you know um because there, there is always that time in a trade when you know you have done something wrong and most of your bigger losses I bet come from having done something wrong and you know it you know that you're doing something wrong and you know you should you should pull the plug and you're a little bit stressed out a little bit scared that's the point where you get out that's the point where you have to get out you don't have to trust your luck you don't have to trust your system if you have done something wrong you have to get out right so it was very it was very nice to hear him the way he said it and you know it, it triggered something in my mind, so I was thinking about that quite a bit over the weekend. Anyway, sorry for the rant. Um, I am gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys for you know checking out the video, and I will talk to you tomorrow. We shall see if I close the trades tomorrow at the market open, or if I let them you know trend upwards. I don't know. We will see. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Bye.